Football from Yard, the People's Channel. Greetings football from Yad Massive. Forward the reggae youths go in the CONCACAF under 20 tournament. Jamaica was able to secure a 2-1 victory against Haiti in a nail-biting round of 16 encounter. The win sends Jamaica to the quarterfinals where they are one win away from securing qualification for the under 20 World Cup in Indonesia next year. Although the Haitians have played a more impressive brand of football throughout the tournament and during the game, goals win matches and moments of madness can lose them and Jamaica's goals were courtesy of Reading striker Jamari Clark and Mount Pleasant's Tariq Zimenez. Haiti got on the board through danger man Stevenson Juddy. Coach Marcel Gale continued with the same tactical approach from the previous game against Antigua, but with a few changes in personnel. Goalkeeper Kanaya Boyce Clark retained his place along with defenders Luke Badley Morgan, Romain Blake and Jaden Anderson. Terry Jimenez returned to the starting lineup on the right flank while Lamont Rochester occupied the left flank after serving a one-match suspension due to a red card. The midfield was unchanged with Xander Bicknell joining Christopher Pearson and Duncan McKenzie, while speedster Chad James, who's typically been on the flank, joined Jamari Clark in the attack. Clark's power continues to cause problems for the opposition defence. This was apparent in the third minute of play when a Tarek Ximenez throw went towards Clark in the box. As the Haitian defender struggled, his panicked goalkeeper ran to offer support, but instead went blazing past the play, enabling Clark to seal the opening goal of the encounter. As the match progressed, Haiti increased his possession and Jamaica began to fade. However, Haitian defender Fernando Ciceron earned himself a red card with a reckless tackle in the 25th minute. Despite Haiti being a man down, it was Jamaica that seemed to have the one-player deficit as the team struggled to maintain possession and showed little movement off the ball. After the halftime break, it once again appeared that Haiti would still be the more dangerous team and they capitalized in the 50th minute, when one of the tournament's outstanding players, Stevenson Juddy, was left unmarked in the box and placed a header into the goal. The goal and the lack of movement forced coach Marcel Gale's hand and Devonte Campbell and Tyler Roberts were introduced. Haiti decided to be their own worst enemy once again, with Duncan's peer getting dismissed after a reckless challenge on Tyler Roberts. Eventually, Jamaica was able to take advantage of the two-player deficit. Some fancy footwork and a cross from Christopher Pearson on the left side left the Haitian keeper stranded, and Tari Ximenez was eventually able to score and secure the three points. Despite some nerve-wracking moments, Jamaica held on for the victory to secure a place in the quarterfinals. Next up for Jamaica is a match against Dominican Republic on June 29th. A win there means qualification to the Under-20 World Cup and a semi-final match against the winner of the Guatemala-Mexico quarterfinal. The team has a few days to focus on recovery and opportunities for improvement. A little more simplicity in possession, mixed with more movement off the ball, would enable the team to increase its effectiveness in the attack and reduce some of the defensive pressure that it places on itself. The team is now at the stage of the tournament where style of play means nothing and winning means everything. The youngsters appear to have the mentality of togetherness and a willingness to battle for each other, and that is required in a tournament. They'll have to show it one more time to lead the nation to the promised land. Respect once more, linkage next time.